Welcome back again with the video number 12 of Oracle Real Application Cluster 19C Lab Setup. So let's uh, have a look for our plan. What we have done so far, we can see that we reach right now to the database batching. So we need to batch the database or we need to batch the cluster database. So in this video, I will show you step by step how we can accomplish this step. So let's jump in. So we, before we proceed to the batching process of the database, cluster database 19C, we need to make sure that the batch is available on the both nodes. So let me just do like this, ls minus L and then grip minus 33, sorry, 33 like this. You can see here that the batch is already available here. Let's check the second node as well. We can see here also it's uh, available on the second node as well. This batch is contained as sub batches. We need to apply both of them uh, on the on the cluster database on both nodes. So if you read the badge document, it will tell you to create this file which contain the destination of the two sub batches in this batch set. And so it's better also to create it in both uh, nodes. This uh, will help us to uh, just uh, test and uh, check the system uh, space. And also it will uh, easy for us to just tell this tool where is the patch location. I also create a script on the first node and second node to tell me the, uh, the Oracle database uh, full version. So let's run this one. Uh, this is the script content for uh, both nodes. So let me just zoom in here and I will clear the screen. So let's do like this DB, yeah, like this. You can see here that the version full, uh, this is the column. We can see it's 19.3. So this once we finish the upgrade or the update will be 19.15. Let's check also in the second node. Here I am in the second node. Let's run the script DB. It will give us the same result because we have shared database between both nodes. So it will be the same. So again, once we finish the patch should be 19.15 also from this node so the batch should be applied from the both nodes so we will start the, with the first node and then the second node but first i will check both nodes before we uh, perform the batching and uh, the uh, the checking and uh, analyzing the batch it will there is no need for downtime but once we apply the batch there is a downtime required this command will help us to just uh, prerequisite check system space this will tell us if there is enough space to perform the batch uh, of course i told you that there is a patch uh, underscore db which this one it will tell this tool where is the patch that we need to check to see if the if it's uh, there is an enough space on the operating system or this node to apply this uh, patch let's uh, hit enter so the prerequisites Check system space is passed and the opatch succeeded. That's mean everything is fine. So let's move to the second node and perform the same command. Here I am on the second node. We have the same uh, command we need to run. So this tool will tell us if there is any uh, additional space required or this, the, the space is enough to perform the batch on the second node. Let's hit enter and wait. So the batch prerequisites check system space is passed and opatch succeeded. So that's mean both nodes right now are eligible to perform the patch on them but we have the last step we need to analyze both nodes so to, to analyze the apply of the batch you need to have a root privilege and also you need to source the database uh, variables so let's perform this one right now on the first node first as you can see here i am in the first node using root user i am right now source the database 19c environment variables from the oracle home to be used for the root and here i am using opatch auto and then apply but here you can see here dash analyze that means i need to analyze the slash u01 slash this uh, patch so let's hit enter and check the result So we can see the analysis of the applying patch has completed successfully. We can see that the applicability of this patch to this home is succeeded. So let's move to the second node and apply the same 
analysis so we will perform the same operation on the second node so we source the database 19c environment variables and also we need to perform the analyze on apply command and for the o patch o2 utility so let's hit enter and check the result once it's finished We can see here that the O patch session completed, and also we can confirm that the patch successfully analyzed and also ready to be applied. Now we can confirm that the both nodes are eligible for this patch to be applied. Now let's move to the first node and start apply the the patch for the first node, and then we will move to the second node. Now I am in the first node, which is rack one. We can see here that also I am in, as a root user. I source again to confirm the uh, Oracle uh, database environment variables from Oracle Home. And again, I run this the O patch auto, then the apply, then the location of the batch, where the batch is located, then dash OH, which is Oracle Home, and then I put the Oracle Home as an Oracle variable. So let's hit enter and proceed with the batching right now. So as we can see here, the O patch session completed, and we can see here also the batch is uh, successfully applied on the first node. Now let's move to the second node and apply the same command there. So right now I am on the second node. I will apply the same command that applied on the first node. Let's hit enter and wait until this one finish. We can see here that the second node is right now finished successfully so let's continue our patching process so from the first node as an oracle user i will check the database version and let's see if the patch is right now uh, upgrade the database to the or update the database version let's see yeah we can see here that the database uh, version uh, full version right now uh, become a 19.15 so I think the batch is successfully applied for the database. Let's check to see the result, the same result from the second node. I am here right now from the second node. I will run the same script that I run from on the first node. So let's see if the if we have the same result. You can see here that we have the same result and everything is fine. And also it's a best practice to also check if you have invalid uh, objects. So you can run the uh, utrib.sql and uh, this is the best practice it will be automatically applied but in case if you have you need to check the invalid objects in your database we come to the end of the video thank you for watching wish you a good day bye